All right, all right, what's going on guys? So today is the greatest day of October because we are finally, we are finally installing the Epic SeaDeck kit. Now, you might be wondering, you know, what's the hype here? Who really cares? You're just putting some flooring in the boat. But what you guys don't know is we've got this really, really sick laser design. We got like some cool colorways. We got some logos going and we're basically covering the entire boat with this really kind of premium high-end product that is Sea Deck. But we're also stepping it up with some really cool designs. My guy Nick is up there right now. By, I think he's putting the first piece in, about to put the first piece in. We've been kind of going back and forth on some of the design and really kind of making sure that this kit, this Sea Deck kit, was a one of a kind overall package. We've seen it on the computer, we've kind of, I've seen it in my head, but I haven't, you know, seen it on the boat just yet. And I'm, I'm kind of deciding if I want to show you guys like exactly what we're doing just yet. High, like I said, high end material that it doesn't absorb water, it doesn't, you know, get smelly. A lot of people think that Sea Deck ends up mildewing and smelling and stuff like that, but it's really a great product. I've had it in my last boat that I had, had the whole thing covered in Sea Deck, never had any issues, got fish blood on it, got everything, you know, you could get on it, no problem cleaning it. At the end of the day, you know, it's like anything with a boat, you gotta kinda maintain it and make sure, you know, you don't wanna leave blood on it and let it dry overnight or anything crazy like that. Putting the cherry on top of the cake right here with the Sea Deck. The boat's the cake, obviously, and uh, the Sea Deck is the cherry we're putting on top here, so. I'm excited. I'm gonna give you guys kind of a little behind the scenes look as we install today. A lot of pressure, Dick. A lot of pressure. So the cool thing about the Sea Deck is it actually has an adhesive on the back. They get the surface prepped and cleaned. You basically are just pulling that adhesive off the back, the backing, and then just sticking it right down to the deck. So it's a real clean, simple, easy finish. There's no extra like, adhesive squirting out or anything like that on the boat once it's on there it's not coming off it'll come off obviously but like you don't have to worry about it you know peeling up and stuff like that it just sticks right on there and you're you're good to go so you can see we have this piece right here and you can see the laser design in it and then you got the routered out edges with kind of that little pinstripe around the edge as well so it kind of frames it in there for that individual piece and just kind of gives it that really finish look like I said on the back you just got the backing that comes right off there and sticks right to the boat so I'm not really sure whose idea it was to put a bunch of rod holders in the boat it might have been mine actually but the cool thing about the sea deck is when they design this out they have a little laser laser machine thing that basically measures it all out they can get it precise and you'll see like the fit and finish is pretty epic because Everything is really tight. There's no like major gaps and stuff like that. You know, obviously there's a little, there's little spots where you just couldn't get another piece of sea deck through there. But around each of the rod holders, the sea deck is cut out perfectly with the CNC machine. Everything's designed and built in house at Sea Deck at their factory in uh, Coco. And like I said, everything's like very tight. The laser design definitely uh, is looking really sick right now. And just the overall fit is. It's really clean because they're able to just kind of measure everything with the laser and get it all really tight and dialed in there. And that's another reason that if you're going to do it, you know, if you're going to cover your boat in a material like this, you might as well use the best and put the sea deck in there. It's only been a few hours and Nick has just been crushing it. The boat has literally transformed. I wish I could show you guys like everything, you know, in one big picture, but I kind of want to wait till the perfect moment, you know, when it's all like really dialed in and it's like maybe like an epic drone shot to unveil it. 
I'll figure out a way to unveil it properly, but yeah, we're getting close. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek really quickly here. You can see you got the floor in there. Nick's working on the transom back there. I mean, this boat was already badass, right? Like this boat was, you know, already pretty sick because, you know, I built it and stuff like that. But in general, like putting the sea deck in there at this point has, I don't want to say transformed it, but it has definitely changed the look of this boat. You know, this boat was, it's a 30 year old boat. It's a 1990 Mako. And I feel like the Sea Deck has basically taken this boat from 1990 to 2019, just like that. So Nick's kind of like a, a uh, time traveler. He's taken the boat from the past into the future. It just really makes it look, you know, like high tech in a sense of the pattern. I feel like the pattern really kind of just looks very high end and uh, like some technology, you know, like all these little kind of uh, triangle kind of. I don't know, it looks really, really, really clean. Nick's been working with me designing it and getting it all dialed in. He said he was a little apprehensive about some of the things that we wanted to do, but I think he's a fan now. And uh, going forward, I think he'll have full trust in, uh, in, in, my, in my ideas here, even though they're crazy sometimes. So we got the, obviously got the sea deck on the floor. This helm pad, I'll show you the helm pad. It's really cool. It's thick. I mean, that's, what is that, about an inch? It's 23 mil. 23 mil not sure how that works out in inches but it's thick somewhere around there it's like walking <laughs> on dr shoals so if you have a boat even if you're not looking to do the entire boat you're not you're not looking to do everything i would definitely look into getting a helm pad because you know when you're standing there all day fishing you're driving around i mean it's definitely i mean just standing here at the dock it just feels way more comfortable and i can only imagine what it's going to be like after you know four or five hours of driving around out there so i'm excited to now be able to stand on a cloud, cloud nine here. Back here, I love this boat because there's so much room back here to fish, right? You got just a ton of space. This is like fish fighting space. This is some serious space for some serious fishing. And that was kind of the goal of building it like this. You know, we wanted to push everything kind of a little bit forward, really open up this back area, almost like a little mini sport fish. You know, a lot of the boats on the market today are very, very small in the back you know there's not a lot of room to get around to fight a fish and, and you don't have a lot of room in general i've got the live wells i got a lot of space back here but the sea deck i mean i'm walking around barefoot right now and i've you know been in this boat a lot barefoot lately and it has already just changed just the overall feel of i don't know it just feels like it's more finished we go we got the sea deck on the gunnel we got the sea deck going up here on the second station now, this is sick look at this Got the routered out, the essential. That's the name of the boat, obviously. Got the laser pattern. And the cool thing here is that we were able to do the blue with the router edges and the pinstripe and then the laser. But also on the floor, I went, to, I went for something that was really clean and real simple and easy to clean. But it also looks, it looks really clean. Obviously, I said that. It looks really clean, but it's simple, but it's also like refined. You know, like it looks really high end, but still simple and easy. So that was kind of the plan. You know, I didn't want to have too much of the laser pattern all over the place. I wanted to kind of break it up a little bit, have the floor kind of just be simple, clean, and overall just functional. And you know, the around the railing stuff is more for looks because people obviously see that more than they see the floor. So that was my thinking about this. So overall, obviously, like I said, it's amazing. I'm really excited to get out there and go fishing to film a bunch of videos really soon for you guys. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll do the grand unveiling soon. I don't want to give away too much just yet because it's just too epic to just show at my dock. You know, we got to go somewhere sweet. We got to film it in its entirety. And that's what we're going to do. So big thanks to Nick, to Sea Deck for coming down here today, getting it done. And uh, you guys stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. There's a lot more to come. A lot more to come. Woo! We got him, boys! <laughs>